What's up, what's up? This your boy 3CP and this is going to be one of my first of my tip videos. I told y'all, I can show y'all, even though the game is still got the bugs, I put the video out about how what needs to be fixed and all that. But if you still play this game and you want to build your team, you don't want to spend money, then I'm going to show you the, the exact way to do it and the way I do it. If you watched my team last year, if you watched my stream, go back to the videos for Madden 18, a few videos back before 19 came out, I gave away my team. And just look at the team I had. And look at the team I gave away. And I did that without no money. So, I man, I know, like, GS, the GS got a crazy team for to, to be not spending money on, like, Big Pat. But I'm pretty sure he spent a little money. Like, I mean, we know it's GS, come on. But anyway, what did you do? This is my team. I started out with the bronze squad, but this is the team I got in there. It's still really hard to beat it's still really hard to compete with a team like this sometimes but i find myself winning beating uh like 90 overalls teams and stuff but the but the game it's just the part of where the game just says nope you're not going to do this now so we're going to make sure this guy gets this player so like the dd out all that scripted stuff is still in the game but the best thing to do is first of all if it get you some power players these power players are going to be key because i don't know how long how much they can uh upgrade like this is show you i'm going through my line well, this is my lineup first of all this is my line for all elite line besides him i gotta upgrade them power them up again then we got receiver like these 85 87 receivers they're they're, they're good enough like just make sure you got a random mouse too get you a random mouse and get you a tyree kill you can get those from the solos which i can show you if you don't know what those are in the campaign get you a Deion jones any of the defenders on the campaign is pretty good the offensive guys stay away from this guy right here dude i'm telling you right now stay away from big ben this big big Ben rape this burger do not do no don't don't get him this dude is terrible do not get big Ben I'm telling you now I forgot the other three cars that you caught you yet but get those get any of those but don't get Ben so right here the defense um power up champ bay like I said is another one do the campaign solo you get Jarrell at Jerry Alexander this guy is right here he, he plays out of his mind He's pretty good. Then I got Roby right here in the middle. I, I just got some few 81, 80 overalls. Just because I'm not in a, a lot of dollar dime packages. Let me put a, I got to put a number five here. Let me see. Uh, For the most of I thought I had. What happened to my. Uh, what happened to my. My Rob Woodson. I don't know. I had Rob Woodson. The, the 77. I guess he got quick toes. I don't know but so what i said about these power-ups power up is key how do you get the power-ups well if y'all know y'all do your solo challenges if you get a lot of them from this campaign like this campaign it's 83 games but i'm telling you like it's, it's most of them are quick little moments and you know you'll get throughout the uh thing you can get power up players and stuff and cores and then at the end you get the one you pick the campaign thing where I said don't get big and all that so that one is that one the gauntlet that's another one that's why I got Alexander do those and this is what you get your coins too I still haven't finished all of them but you do that get the gauntlet I think you get the Baker Mayfield if you uh finish it the whole thing this team diamonds right here I haven't actually finished it yet but I want to see what this elite will be when I uh, finish it so like this all the solos you want to do I mean, if you got time oh, I'm your but if you, you want to see, got the time to do it these are going to get your coin this is where your coins are going to come in right here just doing these solos even if you're going to do a long shot I probably won't do that but do it on solos is going to be where you get your coins and that's why I end up having like over 100 something almost 200k that early when I had the game 
So that's what happened. And then, like I said, these power players. Like this Charon Taylor, I finally upgraded him some more. But uh, it's easy because once you get the, you just start off with a 70 for overall. You just upgrade them. And you just power them up. Like, but you like, you know, hey, but right, how do I get all these training points? Because, I mean, see, once you get to like the 80, the 88, I think once you get them to the 88, he's good. Once you get them to the 88 overall, you pretty much, you can use them for a while. Until you can afford to get the 91 to power them up. But, uh, the best way to get training points, in my opinion, is to uh, get these elites and quick sell them. Like, see how you got 200 training for that? You take, like, you buy your 83. Some of them go for 165, 175. But that 200 training points is enough to get him all the way up to, let me see. Let's just look at it. I don't, I don't show how many it costs. Man. It wasn't, it was like, at the start, it's going to be like 5, 5, 10, 10, and then get to like, it might cause you this maybe a little bit over 200, 300 training points, maybe two, maybe a little bit less, a little bit less to get them to like an 80 overall. It's going to cause them like less than 200 to get to get them to an 80 overall. So this, if you once you get the coins, if you if you just want to just really just power up somebody like one guy, do your you know you'll get about 200, 300k, almost 400k of coins. Bam, do that and just power up one guy, random also two. But once you get these these 83s, they sell for some good amount of quick sell. These 84s though, they sell for like 275 to 300. So if you uh, really want to get the most out of training points, these these uh these elites right here, like 375 training. Like the those are gonna be the ones that you want to go and buy with those coins that you get after you've done the solos and stuff. Like if, like I say, if you want to really get the best one, like if you want a receiver, I say get Randy Mouse, power him up to the 88, 89, could be fine. And then the way this game is going, say I've already got my team to an 83. And I still haven't had to spend money. So, as long as you can just get a few good elites, like right now, a team, this, this team, like you can, as long as you're facing teams like at this level, 89, 80, you can still beat teams like that. But it's, it's, this hard, sometimes it's hard because of the game and it's scripted type grain gameplay. But, if you're decent at the game, like this just team right here, like the team I'm playing with, I just got through playing the game. It's a guy, he had like a 90 overall or 89, 88 overall team. And it was an overtime thriller. And this dude threw it in the covers of the whole game. He says that I, he should have had more picks than uh, he said. I threw the ball like to him five times. So I'm like, well, you, you mutt guys are always complaining about picks that you should have had, but you, you like, but yet. You got to throw in the coverage all game and run one play. Run one play throw in all game. Once they, once you shut down they one play and they, they lose, they want to complain. So, like I said, a team like this is good. As long as you got corner. I think this is the best thing you need. You need corners. Like, this, these, most of these guys are like this guy. This guy kind of sucks right here. But, if I was you, if I was starting a team, you want to upgrade the team, Make sure you have a good two outside, two corners, a free safety and a safety, and one good middle linebacker, and then the other one will be a user. But pretty much the secondary, because a lot of standing around looking at the ball is going to happen if you don't have the the best any a guy that can at least make a play on it. Like so, like I said, getting Alexander, Alexander. In the gun, in the solos is a good one. Then get Chan Bailey, power him up. Go get Sean Taylor, power him up. And like, if you want to, like I said, if you want to go buy those, use your coins to buy more training points, buy those coins, and power them up all the way up. Hey, that it'll save you a lot of coins in the end because you can end up downgrading them and get your coins back.
and stuff. But uh, like I say, the best thing to do is to get secondary first. Tell you, you can get secondary. Don't worry about the line too much right now. Make sure you just like like I see what I got, and like this rated right was like thirty, twenty, thirty k. Yeah, so like just a few this a this a mediocre this is something something like this a line that can get it done depending on what you run you want a three four or four three whatever just as long as you don't got those those bronze cards cards in the game because they're they're gonna really make you bad and then you know your linebackers that's it's they need some good linebackers but uh because a lot of the linebackers don't have the best zone coverage and that's gonna be for a long time for a while so a lot of standing around a lot of guys looking stupid so uh I don't know I, I just recommend Anthony Bohr. He's a good user too. But there's there's better ones. But you know this is the for what I had. These are the guys I thought could fit my scheme. So that's this is what I'm saying. That's the big key right here. To make your team upgrade them in like as the years go, as the as it goes on, you can uh, start selling these cards, quick sell them or whatever. So now now if these cards get old. You can quick sell them still, and you can start upgrading other cards. Like let's say you don't want the, I don't want Anthony Barr no more, but I want to keep upgrading Sean Taylor, and I got the coins to buy another linebacker. Bam! I can sell, I can quick sell him, and then bam, I can upgrade Sean Taylor some more with my with the training points. Like so, that's probably what I'm going to be doing throughout the year, is just quick selling, buying. You know, how am I get my coins now? That's the thing. You just, you know, what I do, like, when the, when the, when the solos come out, okay, so, so, oh, yeah, solo battles. If you don't want to just get in the weekend league, mine, I probably do weekend league, too. But do these, do these solo battles. And once you got a team like mine now that can compete like that, you should be good in doing this uh, solo battle. I don't know what the hell is it doing but yeah you can get coins like right here and bam every week you get whatever they give you and the rewards and you can just keep doing the same thing like just playing the game getting the coins getting the coins upgrading quick selling whatever and it's just a rotating thing and then you know you do mud drafts squads whatever you know just as long as you got decent enough skill to win some games you'll be fine now i'll tell you when we with some tips on like some plays some main plays that i've seen some blitzes how to play defense i think i figured out something on defense that you have to do but i'm not gonna let it out right now but if you want to know that tip that it's, it's kind of stupid but this defense kind of works so um yeah man this is just uh, what i uh what i do and, you know when the solos you know the whatever promos come out the solo promos that's when I start really doing the solos, but like these right now, if you want to just get early start, get get your coins or whatever, try to get as fast as you can. Just do these solos right here. So when the promo solo start coming out, you'll be good. And yeah, that's just a little tip to what I'm doing and how to upgrade the team though. So uh, yeah, drop a like. Any questions you want to know, like what else I want to know, how to do. Like I said, you seen the team I had last year. I was using the same type of method besides this quick selling training point thing that was new. It's new to me, but now I'm figuring out how to kind of use it. So, yeah, it's going down, man. We out of here.